Um, basically, two tools come with it. Actually, one that you need yourself, a razor knife, and a little old tiny Allen key. Um, possibly, I'm thinking, if anything, a Phillips head screwdriver. And that's going to be about it. It's pretty easy to put together. It comes with a few items that I liked about it. It's my first one. I, I had made one myself in the past, but um, it, it wasn't it wasn't exactly didn't have the options on it that I needed. This one comes when it's finished. It'll have an inside area where you can put a it'll be a um, you can put your own um, water system on it for one or I'm going to use it and I'm just going to put an AIO on it and it takes a 240 or, or a 280 um, yeah two 120s 280 240 and two 140s would be 280 so and it can and the thickness of the radiator really doesn't matter you can put a single uh, say a 25 millimeter or you can even go with a 50 if you wanted to go custom um, it comes with so you can put one internally for this on the top part once this is finished which I'll, I'll get to filming later you can see it's got an angle on it where you can put another one here and there's another one built that goes down underneath uh, on the side I haven't figured out which way you, there's, there's multiple ways you can put it so you can basically run three water cooling systems on this closed loop 240 or again 480 um, which is kind of nice overkill but nice the material seems to be made of really nice quality it's got a heavy coating on it textured coating um, Praxis is old style came down on an angle kind of a 45 degree angle which I didn't like I was hoping that they would come out eventually with a flat one and they did a um, couple things to point out that are really nice on it is the um, they have a really nice quality buttons for power and a restart button. They give you more than enough of everything. It will have a um, when I'm finished. It will have a board CPU. The um, the AIO and a power supply in it. It comes with trays to be able to install HDDs. I probably won't do that. It's only going to have one M.2 in it. That's going to be more than enough to run a test bench. Um, another tray to be able to hold your power supply in there. It has just like a case. It has plenty of areas to be able to move and adjust your um, components more than enough stuff to be able to mount different things on it um, this yeah I, I don't know what that is yet um, I guess this is another tray looks like something that supports either could be a hard drive bracket not sure I know this one right here will probably fit a power supply this one looks like it's made to fit multiple things, maybe a smaller SSD. I know there's places to mount it. So, it also comes with some nice sticky sided type rubber gaskets to be able to keep the fans from vibrating, which is really nice quality stuff. Very heavy duty. Seems to really be quite sticky on the back of it. And on that note, I'm going to cut this out. Be back when I get halfway through it to take a look. Another thing that I really did like about this, and Jay is the one that really got this stuff going. Jay at Jay's Two Cents. He, he made a lot of suggestions. When this is done, 
Yeah, this right here is gonna be for putting a, a fan on top. Basically, it gets mounted on here, well, here. This goes into the top plate. You can see where the holes, the holes are right here, or right here where these, this goes in. This will attach to that. And, wow, this is probably more than what they needed. But you can, you can adjust it. Put your fan to blow down on the VRAM, different components and stuff like that, because obviously it's not gonna be in a case with a lot of the other fans possibly blowing on it. All right, getting old, my knees hurt. Okay, we'll be back. Give you a quick little zoom in on this stuff. And we'll take pictures or little videos of the progress of all this. <clears throat> I gotta cut the uh, coffin out. All right, figured I'd come back with a little bit more on this. So this is what we're at so far. Basically, it's not really, it's just basically like a, a big metal puzzle, you know? Puzzle. Um, it's easy to follow. It's got these little Fs kind of carved in there, kind of put two and two together. And um, these little, I don't know if they're really Fs to mean forward or front or whatever. So, but... From the looks of it, this makes sense. This goes to the front part. And you just basically have this. Everything's got really nice, um, I guess they're kind of glued on there or whatever, little little spaces. And you just you can see we have some notches, notches right here. You pick it right up, put it right on. I started this side a little bit. Comes with some nice little, um, all this stuff seems to be pretty good quality at this point. So, basically what we have here, what we have here, come on baby, get in there, talk to me mama. Let's see, I went and moved it now, it's got to be realigned, because I kind of tightened the other ones down a little bit. go we got gotcha. you I do have a power driver that I could just put a little <laughs> kind of take the fun out we're getting too dependent on easy stuff <clears throat> gotta put our minds to work once in a while and actually use our hands okay so that's it for the side basically I've only seen one other video that went over this that again Jay did when he got his a little while ago and he got I think he did white because he said black shows a lot of the dust but he's right about that black does show a lot of dust on the other hand white shows a lot of dirty fingerprints especially with thermal paste and everybody that's put a PC together God knows <laughs> that crap gets on stuff forget it that's why on all my cables I love the um, don't get me wrong cable mods is top of the line I, I love the company you're building a system that you're gonna put together once or at least for a long time and you want some beautiful looking braided line, power cables and stuff like that. They, they have the best. There's just no getting around it. The quality of their, their gauge on their wiring. They use a sleeve and that's made of more of a material. And on the other hand, then there's a number of companies that I just found to be crap. But... um. Sorry, companies, but it is what it is. 
but then you have Asia Host and they make some really, really good quality stuff. I love it. The thing is, is with Asia Host, they have kind of a imitation nylon coating on it. It looks just identical to the um, to the to the, to the sleeving on um, to cable mods, but it's it's nylon and it's a lot harder to bend and and, and move and adjust. So, anyways, let's not get on to all that. Okay, so this is where we're at with this. You, all you get besides your parts, you get a little booklet right here, and it's pretty easy. You just, it, it's step by step. I mean, I've been reading, I've been reading pictures, reading, I've been reading pictures, because I don't know how to read, but I read the pictures. Um, yes, I read the pictures. Okay. Yeah, I've been reading pictures, like, even when I was a kid, I read the pictures, like, in, in, like, the little dinosaur books and stuff. I never read the words. I just read the pictures. All right. Um, okay. So, th there's a few things, and every time I get something on, I'll come back. Ah, I know you don't want to see me, but tough. Okay. I just had a real serious dilemma. I didn't know what power supply to go with. I was either going to go with a... Being, being that this is just going to be a test bench and not used really for overclocking and stuff like that, which I could, and I can change out power supplies. All I had was a thermal take, 750 and an Asus. 650 so I'm gonna go with the 650 and this will run even up to a 3090 as long as you're not pushing the thing No problem the reason I went with the Asus it is a Better quality than than the thermal take that I got um, I get it So Okay, there's some screws on the side. I still have to put in and this thing Okay, basically, power supply goes on that. And this is what I like about it because the, the one on an angle, it, it, um, it kind of, uh, it just hung underneath it and I wasn't, I wasn't down with that really too much. Uh, and and uh, you know, so as far as, it, it just looks like as far as like putting the hard drives in and stuff like that as well. Oh, you can put DVDs. Oh, you, I, I'm not putting no peripherals in it. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Sometimes it comes with with uh, drivers, uh, programs, BIOS, updates, stuff like that, right on DVDs. They're still not giving us those free flash drives. Um, I'm sure there is a company somewhere, but not in this universe. Um. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. All right. Oh, all right. I get it now. Oh, okay. Okay. I got gotcha. you. All right. So once I get all this installed, so you get an idea what this is going to look like, whether I use this or whether I end up using this, it faces the back. It gets screwed in from underneath. You have your openings wherever you want. Plenty, plenty of openings. You have your opening in the back, obviously, where it can come around. But you have plenty of openings on this. To, and, to, and you can see, actually, let me point this out. If you want to do a custom water um, setup, it already comes with the holes pre-drilled. And what a nice job they did with this. Wow, they must have had some serious money invested into their equipment to powder coat it like double thick and get nice clean. Somebody said that these were a little sharp. These, it's kind of made for your fingers, but no, I don't think so. I know the other one Jay said because of the, the, um, the, the one on a 45 has, has like a, a plastic insert that you can give it a variety of colors and he said that that was sharp so get tougher fingers but anyways um, 
I can imagine that the, the Lexan or whatever they use would be sharp. So with the metal, this is pretty pretty smooth. Oh, all right. Now here's that other piece I was looking for that goes. It's a bumper. Okay, I get it. Okay, when this is set up, I'll be back. Yes, the camera's in all kinds of different positions. Okay, this is where we're at so far after I put a bunch of screws in and realized I put the wrong ones in because I don't like to read directions. Which it was pretty much common sense, but again, I'm one of those people I just like to look at pictures and not read directions. I read the, I read the pictures. Anyways, all right, power supplies in. I didn't put none of the... the decals on it or anything yet but I'm kind of impressed with the ASUS stuff it comes with um, kind of like on their uh, on the 3080 that I have in my rig it comes with that little corner if you watch the video it comes with that little corner Piece that goes on the top well it's the same thing on this it comes with a little little magnetized you can put a, a few different things on here um, yeah you can you can put this style which kind of just you know falls right in on it you know and you know it's got another thing you can stick somewhere um, that was kind of cool 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 and Again, I always like how they add in some little, uh, you know, some little uh, Velcro, little Velcro wraps, and again, you know, some wire ties, eh, whatever you want to call them, Munchkin handcuff holders there. And uh, so this is where we're at here. This cover, it can go on either side actually, but the wording would be upside down, and you just few screws go in oh I ended up just putting it just the power the, the power supply the uh, uh yeah, yeah yeah the thing there yeah the hard drive it just bolts right down on there and it comes with some nice little nylon screws I was kind of worried that they would be easy to strip but they go in nice and easy and they kind of lock right in so they're easy to put on and take off so this is going to end up being the front like so, it just pops in, got the little groove, slides down, slides down, tighten it up here, I'm only going to put a couple in real quick and you can also, you'll notice that the back's wide open and there's a piece that goes on back there so long story short. Here we is. Here we is. Here's the front. Okay, here we are. That's the front. And on the back of it, I'm wondering what I did. What goes on the back of it? Do I need to look at the picture again? Yes, there is something that goes on the back. Okay. I know it's one of these things. So, and. You can put the fan in a couple of different spots with this mount. I'm going to put it up the front over here. As Jay said, he was right. If you're going with an extended board, some of them are bigger. You will run into a little problem, but I would say 99% of the extended boards, you won't have any problem with it. Um, so this kind of basically goes on like yay. Once you get it all lined up, this is just a blow down on some of the components. There's a lot of extra parts if you want to put in trays for peripher um, peripherals, uh, DVD burners, whatever, you know. And again, this goes on here, something like that. Did I do it backwards? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so you, you got it on like like so. And get it screwed down in there. Maybe it's the metal ones, nylon ones. I 
and it already comes with pre-attached gaskets and stuff so it won't rattle around and I got the piece that goes on the back here I don't know what the hell I did with the thing oh no that don't fit all right I know I got it here somewhere so I'm gonna throw a little bit more together you got a basic idea of where we're going with this I think it's pretty cool well cool well man so uh all right I'll be back when I get this put back together a little bit and wrapping this up all righty we're back to wrap this up as you can see the wet bench is pretty much put together one thing I want to add is I didn't end up adding inside of it and it really doesn't matter it does come with a um, another one of these mounts for uh, another two a two an, another another two it would be a um, 240 or 280 whatever it may be um, the older one as I said before the the other one that was on a 45 degree angle did take a a uh, radiator that was a three 360 millimeter setup this newer one only does either 240 or 280 um, or even custom it can take it can take a 360 but I can point out actually we're going to just look at a couple things how this all goes so bottom line is the motherboard just basically falls right on if you can get it to fall right on there it goes Ain't no problem like I said they did a awesome job getting everything all straightened out on this I mean as far as lining stuff up it really isn't difficult oh, I've had good cases that I had a hard time getting lined up so the only thing that I didn't put in here was the additional radiator mount which goes on the inside you can run three 240s or three 280s inside of this setup which is pretty insane um, myself I'm just gonna run just the one um, unless I end up doing something later in the future but for right now I just wanted to go over basically some of the features on this so once you once it's completed it's pretty cool because it kind of comes with these little cutouts for your, for your fingers to carry it you have your radiator support here you have a power a power this one would be the power it's the way I have it set up this is the power this is the reset button we can do a quick little zoom in on those actually not like that but as you can see right there power reset kind of nice uh, very nice and convenient setup anyways I ended up putting in probably not that I'm ever going to need it but there's plenty of space inside here I ended up putting in a 500 gig 3.5 hard drive 7200 rpm I just probably will end up when I when I do set the board up I'm going to end up just flash uh, not flashing it but I'm going to end up just formatting it and uh, leaving it there I doubt I'll ever be putting anything on it because just for testing I'm just gonna put I'm not putting a big money um, Samsung 980 I'm just for pre-builds or work stuff that I'm gonna work on if I'm doing actually if I'm doing a pre-build I'm I am gonna put the the M.2 that's gonna go on the board is gonna go in and stay there because I'm gonna install the windows and whatnot but just for testing and stuff just a Western digital again I'm gonna use I'm just going to go with a 3600, a Ryzen 5 3600. And the reason for that is I think 
on all AM builds, AM4 builds that I do, instead of, let's say the, um, let's say the uh, Intel, I can flash the BIOS with no problem, um, which kind of works out in my favor. And on this, so on this build that I'm going to do for the MSI case, I'm not going to be using this motherboard. I'm going to be using the, the, um, the X570 carbon Wi-Fi. So with the um, Ryzen 5 3600, I'll be able to just put it on, flash the BIOS, get the board right up to date, pop on the... 56, 58, 59. It's either going to be a 59, 59, 50 that's going to go in that build. Probably a 59 because 59, 50s are running like $800 and uh, it's a little, it's a little pricey. Unless the, whoever gets it wants to pay that price. I mean, I got no problem with it. I'm not going to charge anything over MSRP. I haven't decided what I'm going to end up using for a, um, I'm, I'm hoping I can get a 380, a 3080 to use on it. If not, it's going to probably be a 3070 and if they want something that's going to be faster, it's going to be more money because it's going to have to be a 3090 because 3080s are getting very hot. They're still hard to come by, but long story short, they are coming in a little bit more. Although all boards are slowing down. I'm going to use four sticks of crucial ballistic memory. Nice memory. Okay, back to, the, back to this baby. So, I'm just using this as an example actually. So this is basically what we're going to have. With a, with, with a 240 or 280. I haven't really decided. I've got a, actually a 240 coming in, but... I'm also ordering a couple 280s, so this is basically how your water block is going to sit on here, and this is what we're going to be using on that MSI build. So with with the um, so you could use this with no problem, but I, I don't I don't want it sticking out. This is an MSI water cooler, so this is basically how the setup is going to be. As you can see, it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty chill. Yeah. All right. So we can just rest this here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to change the fans. The fans that I use on the test bench, I don't think I'm going to use ARGB with it. I mean, it's just a lot of extra plugging in unplugging and bull cramp that goes with it but you can see how this would basically line up I think it'll look nice actually it's probably gonna go this way because I want it going literally blowing sucking through not that air is gonna be a big issue seeing it's in the open air so there we have it What do you think so far? I think it's going to be a pretty cool setup. We'll take a slow look over here. Yeah, I know I'm not no expert. I don't have no lines zipping around with heavy duty stuff on it. Okay. So, back to it. I ended up only putting in, I'm probably going to put in something bigger. I had, I only had some ASUS 650s power supplies. They're nice power supplies. And I had some thermal tank 750s. The 750 would have been more ideal for putting 3080s and up on video cards. But for just putting a system together, getting it up and running, installing Windows, the 650 is fine. It will run a 3080 or 3090 with no problems as long as you're not like blasting through games and stuff with it. Um, 
but I think I'm gonna end up putting probably an 850, a 1000 in it. I just gotta, I actually got some coming in maybe next week, but I wanted to get this done. The reason I didn't use the 750 is because this Asus by far is a superior, I hate to say thermal take. I mean, the thermal take is not a bad power supply, but this Asus power supply just is, is by far better. It's, there's no comparison. So that, that's what we have. You got some little nylon screws that go, that have aluminum, actually they're nylon heads with aluminum screws inside of it. Very nice, they screw in, they're nice and neat. The ones that go on the um, standoffs on the board, that's where it's a little difficult, but they did change it when, when the la I seen Jay do a video on it. The standoffs had the screw built into it. Now, basically, you thread the little barrel right over the screw and bingo, it's on there. You don't have to worry about stripping it. And then it comes, which is under there already. I should have taken it off, but yeah, um, small aluminum small aluminum nut that will hold it down myself i'll tell you to be honest with you i i, I wouldn't even use it i i, I don't 90 percent of the time i never bother even bolting down screwing down the motherboard so the msi fans are very nice too just probably like I said if, if I if I can I don't know I'll throw the lights on if not I mean no big deal I just want the ro the water pump working when I use it that's the whole reason for for a wet bench unless I'm building something that somebody wants a um, regular f air fan again with this board you have a couple nice areas over here this is a very nice board this Asus this, this Strix is, is, is I think is awesome I love it the features on it it's the E the F, I did a video on it. Watch the video. By the way, please give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. But watch the video on this board and you'll see the difference between the, um, the Strix B550E and the Strix B550F. There, there's a big difference. Not noticeably, but internally, there is a big difference, especially like with your VRAM, the phases, whatnot. It's all explained in the video. A lot of other features. So there we have it. It's built. It's awesome. Oh, another thing that I, that I, I kind of didn't, I think could be use an improvement, is the back is wide open. And the bottom, it, it's nice. It it's, has these little... Um, Allen key screws holding everything down the bottom, but on the top there really isn't a lot. It's not bad, it's not weak, but I really do think there could be a small support bracket going. There is screws back here, and there should be a little support bracket right back here, and it would keep it from doing any fluctuating, which would eventually cause screws to loosen and whatnot, but that's nothing. It's something that I can measure out, make at work tonight paint it black and throw it on there put a couple um, butterfly type screws in there just to hold it on and it'll take a second to put on and take off all right well I hope you enjoyed this video again 240 280 in the front or you can put a 120 whatever floats your boat you can even put a, a the, the um, the three fan style, I mean, it's gonna hang out a little bit, but if you want, you can put it. So you have fan mount in the front, fan mount on the side, fan mount on the inside if you want it. If you're gonna be doing a, um, a full VRAM GPU and um, CPU cooling system, liquid cooling system, it would be ideal. It would be ideal for, for using all three. It, it, it's all set up and ready to go for it. So Praxis, I gotta give you five stars on this, a definite thumbs up. 
Okay, I'm going to wrap it up on this. I got to cut this video up, chop, hack, slash, and do all that good stuff. But I hope everybody enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. Take care.